Hi, welcome to my show. My name is Dale, and today's show is all about nail guns and how to correctly, safely use them. I currently have two nail guns here. This big guy here is a framing nail gun. Currently has two and a half inch nails in it. Uh, this particular one will handle anywhere from two inch to three and a half inch nails. This is a finish nailer for doing all your small trim work. Notice it's got much smaller nails. These happen to be 2 inch 16 gauge and this is a 1 inch 16 gauge. These uh, two and a half inch framing nails have this little plastic piece that holds them together. Uh, and these ones here use a little bit of glue. They do make other nail guns that have a, a coil loader and they just use a little wire that connects all the nails. In order to load nails into the magazine, grab this and it loads them. If for some reason you want to take some nails out, pull this back, press this little release button, and it'll slide all the way forward. Then you can take your nails, pushing this down, take your nails out. This is a finished nailer. This particular model accepts nails anywhere from one inch to two and a half inches. These are two inch nails here. If I wanted to load it, all I do is push it in the back, get it past this, there we go, use your thumb, push it, there we go. All nail guns also have a place where you can adjust the depth of the nail. On this particular nail gun, it happens to be really clear, and I can use my finger in there and go one way and it goes stronger, deeper into the wood, or the other way and there's less force so it doesn't go as deep. This is great for finished nailers depending on all the different types of wood you're going to be coming across where it's really thin or thick. Do you know what this little dial is for? It allows you to switch from the trigger switch to a bump action. The bump action allows you to fire a nail every time you bump your nail gun against a piece of wood for rapid firing. In order to switch, you need to push up on this dial, switch it over and then let it go. Now, if this was actually plugged into the air compressor, every time I hit this bump action trigger, it would fire. In order to switch back, push up on it, turn it over, and snap it back in. Now, when this bump is against the wood and then I hit the trigger, it'll now fire a nail. Notice during this demonstration, I am not connected. Another routine maintenance task you want to do is to put a little bit of tool oil into the air inlet. One or two drops will do. That way it keeps everything, all the mechanics in here, nice and lubricated because there is a lot of moisture that comes in with your shop air. So in order to demonstrate how this nail gun works, I'll just take a couple pieces of wood, line them up, take this nail gun. Now if you notice, when I put this down, this has to be engaged first. It's part of the safety mechanism. So when that engages, then I can fire, and it'll drive a nail right into it. So again, engages, push down, hold it, make sure everything, you know, you're holding on to things good and snug, and then fire. Thank you for watching my show today. Please give it a like and subscribe. Please also comment below about other tools you would like to learn about and see safely demonstrated. Thank you.